guys, welcome to Sheet Sensei. In today's video, we will talk about 9 text functions that you need to know in MS Excel. So, let's get started. The first function we are going to talk about is concat. In earlier versions of Excel, it was called the concatenate function. Concat is used to join cell values. You can also add different functions inside the concat function. In today's video, we are going to look at concat function in three different examples. In the first example, we are joining the country code, area code and number to create the phone number. For this, we simply type concat and then drag the cells. Another way in which we can use the concat function is to join cells and add a character between these cell values. For this, what we need to do is that every character or string we want to add needs to be within double quotes. Lastly, this is how we can insert functions inside the concat function. In this example, I want to create a statement which says x of y task done. For this, I use the concat function and inside this, I use the countif and counta functions to get the final value. The next function we are going to look at is the text join function. The text join function is also used to join cell values like the contact function. But the difference is that text join can be used if we want to add a delimiter or a character between each text. For example, I want to add a hyphen between country code, area code and number. If I did this with the concat function, I will have to keep on adding the hyphen every time. With text join, I just do it once. I type the text join function, then I type the delimiter or the symbol in quotes. If I want to ignore empty cells, I type 1 or else I type 0. Since I don't have any empty cells here, it doesn't matter. Then I just drag it across. Now we talk about the find function. The find function returns the position of the character which we are searching for. Find function is generally used with other functions which we will discuss later on. In this example, find function will return the position of space in the string. Now, here we haven't added any starting number, but if we add the starting number in a formula, it will start looking from that position. Next, we look at the len function. The len function returns the number of characters in a string. This function, like the find function, is also used with a lot of other functions to build advanced operations. Simply type len and then select the required cell. Our next three functions deal with extracting a portion of any string. The first function is the left function. Left function extracts a portion of the text up to the number of characters defined by the user. 
so in this example we have the month names and we want the first three characters we simply type left and then select the cell and then enter three now this was quite simple now let's look at combining left with another function in this example we want to extract the first names yes i know what you are thinking we can use the text to column or maybe even flash fill but let's be honest text to column isn't that fun so what we do here is type left and instead of number of characters we use the find function and that's how we mix find and left function now we move on to the right function right function works just like the left function but instead of starting from the beginning we start from the end of the string in this example we want to extract the five digit codes and we use the right function for this In our next example, we combine three functions, write, find, and len to extract the last names. Here, we type write and to determine the position of white space from the end, we use length minus position of white space from start. For this, we use the len and find function. Now we move on to the mid function. Mid function is a very versatile function and is used to extract any portion of the string. In this example, we want to extract the area code from our phone numbers. Area code is the set of three digits which starts from the fourth position. To do this, we simply type mid, then select our cell. Now we mention the position of the number which is fourth and the number of digits we which we want to extract this was pretty simple so let's make this function a bit more advanced as you know life isn't fair and you won't always get perfect situations to work with as you can see in this example, the area codes vary in length and start at different positions. What do we do now? Well, we use the find function along with mid function. The find function will help us to find the starting positions. Here, to find the length of area code, we will use difference in hyphen positions.
We will now discuss the case function. There are three types of case functions in Excel, upper, lower and proper case. Upper case capitalizes all the alphabets in the string, as we can see in this example. Lower case is the opposite of upper case. The lower case function makes every alphabet small. Finally, we move to proper case. The proper case capitalizes the first alphabet of every word, as you will see in this example. Now, we move on to the last text function, the trim function. Trim is a very handy function to clean text by removing unwanted spaces. You can use this function in an entire sentence and it will take care of all white spaces which are not required. In this example here, we have names with extra white spaces everywhere. For this, we use the trim function. Just type in trim and select the cell and voila, it's done. So that's it for today. Please give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Let me know in comments which Excel function do you find most useful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.